What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video I got more weird gadgets from Amazon. Check this out, this looks like one of those katana swords, you see? There is even a little handle that you can put over your shoulder. I cannot really put it on, I can. There you go, look at that. Looks like a little so sword. This stop a little bit too small for me. But yeah, there you go. Check this out. But in reality, what it is, if I can pull it out, is another umbrella with a sword. How funny is that? And you know it's funny, I put it in my living room and my father-in-law, Bob, I really thought that was a sword. He's like, there's a sword laying up there. And look how quality this umbrella is. So close spaced out. So pretty funny umbrella. Just don't get in trouble with the authorities. People thinking you're wearing a sword with you. That kind of a little bit confusing, you know? But still, pretty funny. Next product out here, we have pretty cool mug. Definitely one of the most unique mugs I've ever seen. So, for the winter time, if it's really, really cold, it's still cold out here. I live in a pretty cool, mild climate. And look at that. You, you fill up your mug with tea or coffee, really, really hot. And then you put your hands through here. Or even put it in the microwave to warm it up and then fill it up with coffee. Unfortunately, it's a little bit small for my hands. I have a giant hands, but for a smaller person, average size, that would be pretty awesome to warm up your hands while you're drinking coffee. That is kind of nice, you know? Comfortable. Never gonna drop this mug either. Pretty funny. Okay, this side here, airplane peeler type of deal, but this is something on with it. I mean, me growing up, <laughs> Soviet Union massagers used to be like that. I used to have it. It's like layout and you're supposed to lay on this thing. So this is kind of a vintage massager. And look, on this side, oh, it looks like nails. Especially these metal ones. I mean, these ones are not as sharp compared to these things. So you're supposed to lay on these things and they're very, very sharp. Look at that. Uh, so let's try it out. And they're talking about 20 minute day help the naturalize relief. Zen Guru U shape neck pillow. This is kind of scary. Oh, okay, never mind. This, all these spikes are gonna go on your shoulder. All these spikes gonna go on your neck and your head. I think I'm gonna keep wearing a, uh, what do you call it, a hat. Actually fine, I won't cheat. Okay, let's zip it up right here. Okay, at least this is not too bad. Oh wow, that actually feels good. Oh, that feels therapeutic for sure. I guess there's so many spikes, it's not really poking you that bad. But I'll tell you what, after 20 minutes you'll have dots all over your head. Especially that I'm bald, I'll see those dots. But yeah, and on my neck, it's not really pushing that much down. So this is kind of funny and feels kind of good actually. I like it. So if you want to be one of a kind people and go on an airplane with one of these things, people definitely gonna give you a double look for this thing. That's kind of funny. I think I'm gonna make a thumbnail out of this because this is hilarious. Next I have here a flask and I think this is a 128 ounces. How many is 128 ounces? Let me know in comments below. Is there a gallon? Because this is huge. How funny is that? I think I'm gonna put it in my bar because it's gonna look so funny. I don't think I'm gonna fill it up with anything. But this is huge. Imagine like, hold on guys, let me take out my flask. You know, they're supposed to be this shape, so that way they could fit your pocket somewhere. That'd be a big pocket. So, and then you just chug it like that. That is awesome. <laughs> I love that they make one of these things. So, putting that in my house, that's for sure. Talking about bar stuff, look at that. This is a double glass. And they're telling you that you can drink it as just like a foam single glass. So, there you go. Two-fisted drinker, that's what the name of it. Wow, that looks a lot better than I thought it would. So, I'm gonna put some Gatorade in here. 
Oh, no way, look at that. This is why I did ghetto it, so we can see it. There is a little uh, pipe in the middle. You probably can see that here. So that way it goes to the side. I was wondering, how are you gonna drink it? It's just gonna spill from here to here, maybe. But yeah, you don't even have to do it. It looks kind of funny. Is that funny? Look at that. So just the difference is you got a lot more with you. Next gadget card here, this is a fingerprint padlock. How weird is that? Unless you can do multiple people for the padlock, I think this is kind of pointless because, you know, most of the time you use a padlock, what are you using it for? Trailers, maybe garages and things like that. Oh, and the worst part is you have to charge it. So if it dies on you, you will have to bring yourself a power bank. And if you forget to bring a power bank and you try to open it, oh wow, no way, it's opened it. And then it locks it. So I guess it's gonna memorize it. Wow, this is so cool. I mean, I see the use for it. Right now it um, opens with any finger, as you can see. But I'm sure you can figure it out how it works and see the reviews. I just thought it was so cool. Very unique invention. Never seen a padlock now with the fingerprints. There might, be, there might be a way you can open it with your cell phone or set up multiple fingerprints. But again, my biggest problem with that, you need electricity for padlock. You know, padlocks get rusted out. What happens after a few years? Will it die? Or also, what happens if it's out of power? Will it open? So, that's kind of like really cool, but at the same time, I still have a lot of questions to be reliable. Anyways, there you go. Let's go see what else I have. If you like reading a book, laying down, guess what? There's uh, glasses for you. You can buy it on Amazon. Check this out. So, look like this. And it's pointing down right now. This is so weird. So that way I can read a book without looking down because now I can see everything was down below. Let me set it up this for you so that way you don't have to look down. You see? You see me? Now you see the book. How weird is that? So that way if you like laying down and instead of holding a book in front of your face like that, you put these glasses on and that way you can just say it like that without holding your hands like right in front of your face. You hold it like that. But good luck at cooking or something like this. This is so strange. This is, should be a challenge time to put to the test kitchen gadgets with this kind of glasses. But anyways, very, very weird product. Don't you guys think? Maybe I should do a new thumbnail. Next gadget right here, we have your collapsible, whatever you call it, le leaker, uh, water. Okay, how does this work? I guess you put that to the side maybe, yep, like that. Oh, and then you flip it over, but first we need our items. I know, who needs collapsible leaker? But there you go, they have created one. So you tie this up, plug this in, all the way in and tight. Seems to be really tight. Then push this in. I know, this is kind of easy to come out. I guess you don't even have to do this one if you want to just pull it like that. That's cool. And I guess for now we can stick this cup into here so I don't get lost. And there you go. I think once you fill it up, with water it will get that bucket shape form but it's pretty funny don't you guys think a little collapsible water i don't know somebody sent me this scented candles that's supposed to smell like um dr pepper and mountain dew so let's put that to the test i'll light it up one and two will it actually smell once it's burning because it does smell like Mountain Dew. You know what? It actually smells like Mountain Dew. What about Dr. Pepper? Yeah, it does. 
The only problem with these candles, they might have a copyright issue if they're going to try to sell it on a mass scale. Seems like it's a DIY thing. Maybe they're selling it on itself something. I got this in the fun mail. But yeah, pretty cool product right here. Next, I got here cloth pin clip light. How weird is that? So, it looks like a cloth pin, right? There's a couple of batteries, super easy to remove it and put the new ones in. To, looks like 232 or 12, yep, 2032. Batteries, press it right here, you have a little light for any reason. Tiny, tiny flashlight, but it's pretty unique flashlight cloth pin right here. Let me know in comments below what do you think.